In this experiment, we are provided with a meter rule. We have this block here, which will act as the pivot. We have been provided with the masses, 20 grams uh, each for this. As I always mention, it is always very important to read through the question before starting the experiment. Now, in this experiment, you will determine the mass of a meter rule by a balancing method. Carry out the following instructions referring to figure 3.1, uh, which you can go to see on the screen. Place the meter rule on the pivot. Place a mass M, which is equal to 20 grams, with its center at the 95.0 centimeter mark. Keeping the mass at the 95.0 centimeter mark, adjust the position of the meter rule on the pivot until the meter rule is as near to being balanced as possible. This is very important because we know that as you are balancing, it is very difficult to balance the meter rule parallel to the table, which is perfect so that it doesn't move. So it's very difficult. That's why you're being told that you make it um, being balanced as much as uh, possible. Record in the table 3.1 the position of the pivot. Roman 2, record in the table the distance A between the 50.0 cm mark and the pivot and the distance B between the 95.0 cm mark. Repeat the steps A1 and A2 for the other masses which are remaining, that is the 40 grams, 60 grams, 80 grams, and 100 grams. But B, for each value of M, calculate and record in the table the value S, where S is given by A divided by B.
Now we have our values of um, S, A, B, uh, and S. Now the first thing we need to confirm is uh, the heading. So you can able to see clearly that uh, we have been given the units of each, but then S has no unit, so you just need to confirm. This is uh, A in centimeter over B in uh, centimeter or centimeter cancels, but that means that S has no has no unit. So we have our values here into two significant figures. Now we need to plot a graph, as so we've been told here. Plot a graph of S in the y axis against M uh, in grams in the x in the x axis. So if you look at our data, we need to plot a graph that will uh, use at least three quarter of the space that we have been given. So the scale that we're going to choose must able to look into that. And remember, we don't need to start our graph from the zero zero uh, for that matter. So for the y-axis, for the y-axis, um, our smallest value is 0 0.19, the highest value is 1.03. So I will start the y-axis at 0 0.10. So that is 0 0.10 then for the x-axis because we have 20 to 100 and how many boxes we have is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this is 1 2 3 4 5 so that means we can even set this at 0 Then you draw a line of best fit. A line of best fit is where we balance the points. So if the points are on a set line, we can leave equal number of points on either side of the line that we want to draw. So that is uh, the line of best fit. So there's one point that's going to be left. And because it is far from the line, majority of the points are uh, near this, but then this, now we can assume it to be the anomalous point. We have uh, left something which is very, very important. The first thing that we should always be doing is uh, to level the axis. So there's a mark for that. So here is mass in grams, and then uh, this, this S, it has no unit, so leveling of the graph uh, is always awarded. Determine the gradient G of the graph, show clearly on the graph how you obtained the necessary information. So for us to be awarded this one mark here, we must show that we have used our, our graph. So we can choose any point that we can along the point. So So 
my points here. So my points for this and these are given. So the change in S, that will be 0 0.90 minus 0 0.30 divided by 86 minus 30. This gives us 1 into 2 significant figures. Now you can able to see S as no unit. Uh, this is into grams. So that means we have this per gram, so 0 0.011 per gram. Okay. So the mass MR of the meter rule, the mass MR of the meter rule is numerically equal to 1 over G, that is 1 over gradient. Write down a value for MR for suitable number of significant figures for this experiment. Let, let, let me give my answer here into three significant figures. So that is uh, 0, 1, 0, 7, 1, 0, 7, 3 significant figures instead of uh, 2. So G here will be 1 over 0 0.0107 kilograms, which will be so the reciprocal 0 0.0107 This gives a value of 93 93.5 grams This gives 93.5 grams Now, let's look at um, the application of principle Let's look at the application of um, principle of moments here Now, if you look at this one here we assume that the weight must be somewhere here and the weight so the weight w now uh, the weight w times a should be equal to the mass m um, remember so the the weight of the masses which are can able to call w let's say w1 times times b now weight generally is given by mg meaning that uh, weight is directly proportional to m so that is why we are going to use m here mr the mass of uh, the ruler times h should be equal to uh, that is uh, i just call it w m times times b if we find the ratio of uh, a over b so from here a over b so divide both sides by b then divide both sides that will be like uh, m over mr now when you plot a graph so a over b is what we've been given as s so that means that uh, s is equal to 1 over mr this now you can see clearly that uh, s here is like a y this become a gradient this is x so we don't expect the y intercept so the y intercept c will be equal to zero meaning that uh, 1 over m over r should be equal to the gradient so this is generally just the application of a principle of moments that is what has been applied here now let's confirm uh, with this meter rule here if uh, the mass of the meter rule is actually approximately or is it equal to what you have gotten here let's see that so there is a balance here electronic balance That is 93.9 grams. So 93.9 grams. And for our calculation, we got for our calculation we got 93.5 grams. So this is our experiment um, is very accurate. So determination of MR by this method relies on the center of mass of the rule being at the 50.0 cm mark. Suggest how you could use the apparatus to test whether this is the case. You may draw a diagram. You are not asked to carry out the experiment. So if you are supposed to carry out the experiment, then uh, this is easy. What you need to do here is uh, to have the meter rule. Then with the meter rule, we we'll try to balance it at the 50.0 cm mark. So if we can able to try and balance it, so we we'll try. 
try to balance the meter rule at the 50.0 centimeter mark. If it balances, then it confirms that one.